Hey guys, today it's freezing cold outside, it's frigid, so I thought it'd be a good day to make some one pot chili. Well, one pot, one blend chili. Okay, quick prep, we're gonna chop up one whole onion and one whole red bell pepper, and then we'll take our one pot and put it on medium heat. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oil. This is olive oil. If you're whole food plant-based, just use water. We'll add three cloves of garlic, minced. I forgot to tell you to mince the garlic. Mince it by hand or just use some pre-minced garlic. We'll add the onions, the peppers, and we're gonna saute for about five minutes till the onions are kind of translucent. Sticking with one pot, we're gonna add some vegetable broth. This is kind of one standard box. It's about four cups. Add some diced tomatoes. We'll use two 15 ounce cans. Chili powder, one tablespoon. We'll add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is what gives it a really special flavor, guys. Secret ingredient to all really good chilies, cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt. And then what's gonna make this chili nice and hearty, full of protein, one half cup of quinoa rinsed, and then one cup of lentils rinsed. We rinsed this one on our own because we got the lentils in bulk. We'll put the top on and simmer for about 30 minutes. So that's like not boiling, not super low, simmer. After 30 minutes, check the consistency. You want your lentils to be kind of al dente. You want them a little bit chewy, not mushy, but not crunchy either. Now it's technically ready to eat, but we're gonna make it a little more sophisticated. We're gonna create some varying texture. So we're gonna take about three cups of our chili and blend it up. We'll go high speed for about 30 seconds. We're using our Vitamix like we do for everything around here, but this is one of those if you don't have a Vitamix, all good. Really any blender will do. We'll add this pureed chili back into the pot, stir it around and then get it back up to temperature for five minutes. If it feels like it's too thick, you can always just add a little bit of water. Same thing's true when you're reheating it. And then it's ready to go, guys. I mean, this is so easy. We have a sour cream recipe. We didn't make it this time. We're using some store-bought. Get that hot, cold, varying temperature thing going is really nice. A little cilantro if you're into it. You know, sometimes boring is good. This isn't one of our recipes that's gonna go viral, but this is one of our recipes that may be a staple in your kind of weekly rotation. Something you can make on Sunday night and have for the week, reheat it. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.